I think that we are seeing a change in the push for cloud because okay. people are starting to realize how expensive cloud environments are and maintaining, yeah. you know, maintaining, um, the cloud space, the storage. Yeah. The, the, the storage and everything, maintaining these giant fucking buildings full of fucking server racks, I which mean, they're so big that they don't even like do like hard drive or server repairs in these racks. They replace entire racks. Yep. Entire fucking rack. They go, the whole rack's down because this one thing is broken. And it's like, with the minimal amount of people actually working in the building. Yes. And so all these folks have moved to cloud and cloud has become so exorbitantly expensive now that they've realized that. <gasps> well, this happens. This is capitalism. Hands down. If we know more people yeah. want it, let's upcharge it. Like that's seriously what's happening. You good? Oh, yeah, just got a lot of gas. Struggle City. Mouth gas. Oh, it's all them seltzers. All them seltzers. You've had what? Two? Two. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's... So they've realized how expensive it is to do cloud, and people are doing... Trying to go back to, like, hybrid environments and stuff like... So what they were saying originally is like, ah, well, we're not going to need admins anymore soon, right? We're not going to need engineers... Like, everyone's just going to be that's, in the cloud. I mean, that's not like, true. They're still going to need admins. That's not how this works at all. We still need someone. Even if he's an expert, a jack-of-all-trades, we still need someone to administer all these different things. Like, you can't... It's, it's not going to happen. Two things will always be needed. Medical and IT. It, it's just too fucking expensive to try and move your entire... <laughs> Especially when we're talking to small to medium businesses, it's too expensive to try and move everything to the cloud. Oh, hands you down. end up fucking yourself. Like it, it's not going to change. It really won't. It's it's wild. We look at we're in a world where people want to move to an instant gratification nation. Everybody wants it now. Everybody wants it readily available. Well, even if it's cloud, it still has to show up and live somewhere. Like it, it does. It's going to live in a hard drive, solid state drive, yeah, somewhere. All the cloud is is your shit stored on someone else's shit somewhere. It's it's interesting. Nothing? I mean, cloud has its place and it has value, but adding more cost to cloud doesn't really help them. It's no different than when Unreal Engine decided to upcharge everyone. It was like, oh, we're just increasing the cost. And everybody was like, then we're not using you. Then we're you. not going to use you. So, I mean, we went from Unreal Engine being affordable, yeah. cloud being affordable. Like, everything was affordable at a point to the point that now we're hitting the capitalism bad points. Which happens, and this is how the market, when the market is allowed to do its job and it's not interfered with by the government, the market has these ups and downs and these swings and, and companies come and they go. I mean, a perfect example is Sears. Sears, when my dad was a when kid, was huge. When Sears was Sears Roebuck? Huge. Sears was huge back then. Well, it was Sears Roebuck. Yeah. Up until, I think, 70s, 80s. But now Sears is nothing. That, like, if you ask a kid nowadays what Sears was, and they're like, Sears is the thing that my parents talk about. That's where I have to go to buy clothes.